I'm Barb. Hi, I'm Vespina Nicola from Dare to Begin Life Coaching. And I did a recording before, but it doesn't seem to be showing. I don't know why. And so I'm just checking through with George if he can see me. Can you see me, George? Okay. So, good, we're good. So we're understanding today family dynamics. We're going through the family complexities and how we can be emotionally charged with families. And so that's our topic. Um, first of all, um, we can't choose our families. We can choose our friends though, but we can't choose our families, but we can choose the way that we interact with them. Okay, so um, maybe, you know, th there's some core conflicts when it comes to families. And I think the first one is disrespect. When you're not respected by your family, it can, it can manifest in pain and anger and hurt and the feeling that you don't matter. Okay, so, so um, we, we can choose healthy ways to express ourselves. Um, yeah, now the thing is that when you're looking at family, um, there, it is very complex. You know, it's sort of quite intricate, the, the, the relationships that we have with family. But if we can see family like okay, we're coming up to Christmas uh, in about a week's time. And so you could see the family like a fruit cake, like the family Christmas cake. And in that, in that mix, you've got the mixture of different values, beliefs, traditions and love. And this is what we have been bought. Th these, these traditions, these beliefs, this love, this mixture of value, this is the way that we have been bought up. And it might be functional or it might be non -functional, uh, dysfunctional, depending on the, our upbringing. Because there are families that have instilled healthy healthy beliefs into their children and others unhealthy and so if we look at the analogy of the fruit cake you've got some family members okay and, and it's quite private i mean each family has their own recipe and so it's like the way that um our families are we've got, we've all got our own mix um of certain family members you've got the dense fam the dense batter, which is our our parents. You know, it's like the the parents, the siblings, and in in that fam in in that mixture, you've got the flour, the sugar, the dates, and and that's the foundation of our family. And then there are our values, our beliefs, our traditions. So those are the dense members of our family that don't change. And then you've got the, the um, walnuts or the nuts or whatever, the, the, um, the dried fruit. And they might be our cousins, our aunties, our uncles, and the extended family, our grandparents. And those members might be, there's some members that might be quite hard. So they're the, the nuts. They might be quite hard on us or you might like them. I don't know. And so they're the other members. Now, we <clears throat> may have been brought up to, to eat all of the cake, but we can choose some that we can take the nuts out or, yeah, we can take parts of it out. Now, and then you've got the last part of the cake, which is the rum. Now, the rum might taste good for a little bit, but then when you drink too much rum or you have too much rum, what happens is it becomes toxic. You start, you start your behavior that might ruin the whole family mix. And they're the family members that are toxic. Now, <clears throat> and, and you've got the lovely family members that are sweet, like the um, apricots and the dates and 
yeah the sweetness of the the batter and all that so it's a matter of of choosing what you want to eat and you can always change the recipe you can always change the way that you do things and the way that people interact with you um <clears throat> now what i want to look at now is um yeah it, it might be important for us to look at the toxic you know and and choose the family members that we want to mix with so you're looking at the values and and that there are four types of members that you probably don't want in your cake or you will choose to distance yourself with them and they are the guilt trippers number one and they're the people that like to highlight your mistakes that you've made in the past and and they're the, the the members that just want to emphasize everything that you've you you've done wrong or bring up all your insecurities so they're the guilt trippers and then you've got the second type of member that you don't want to be with and they're the narcissists so they're the grandiose ones that want to be the center of attention and they don't want to listen to what's going on in your life because they've got no empathy and then you've got the antagonists. They're the ones that just want, they're just so negative to be around. And they they don't want to show who you are. They just want to bring you right down with their negativity. They don't want to show your accomplishments because, yeah, they, 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 they want to be number one. And then you've got the toxic members who are just so negative and, um, they're angry, they're rude. And so we can choose ways to distance ourselves emotionally from these people. And you have to set boundaries with them. And um, yeah, you you have to focus on, on just being like a gray rock. Like when they talk to you, don't interact. Like don't, you can interact, but just see yourself as a grey rock, like nothing they say, nothing they do really um, affects you. So you stand there, you listen to them, you nod, just like a grey rock and have no emotion. Because these people, once you give them your emotions, there's there's no winning. So they'll just bring you down. They love your, they love um, if you interact angrily with them because it gives them fuel to make you look an idiot in front of everyone and so these members of the family it's about setting boundaries and being able to look after yourself and look after your own needs because the most important years that when we were when we are instilled values beliefs and love are the zero to ten years old now if our parents were victims of victims of victims, they are unable to give us this. So we can't blame them. But instead of growing up with trust, we'll grow up with not being able to trust adults. Instead of growing up with independence, we'll be growing up with being dependent on people, being dependent on people giving us worth and not being able to love ourselves. We'll be filled with humiliation. You know, we'll be isolated. We will feel never enough because we didn't get that feeling of being enough from our parents. And so it's important to, get, to, to be able to respect yourself even though people don't respect you and taking the responsibility to heal because we can go on the blame game and blame our our authority figures or our parents or whatever for the way that they brought us up. But it's not their fault. Maybe they were victims of victims of victims. I mean, if you stop and look at the way that um, they the, the difficulties they had to deal deal with, they're only doing what they thought was the best for you. And so, <clears throat> It's about empowering yourself and being able to choose the family members 
and separating the ones that that don't um, that don't do you good. Okay, that's being positive and doing the grey rock technique. Yeah. Um, now I don't know if it's showing now, but I had problems. This is the second time I'm doing it. Ah, there's George. Yes, there he is. Yes, hello, twin. Oh, John. Hello, John. Oh, thank you so much for joining. And that is John. And that's, yeah. There's someone else, but I can't see. Uh, can you see, George? No? No, I've got nothing else. Okay. Right. Thank you, John and George, for joining. And um, yes, and remember to look after the members of your family that are with you. And um, the next live will be on looking at, um, fam uh, sorry, friends, looking at how friends can help us in our life. Because maybe our family members may not be there. Richard, uh, Hello, Richard. Hello, Richard. How are you? <laughs> um, our seven o'clock, our, our um, live didn't come through before. This is the second time I'm doing it. I don't know why. And so I'm sorry for the delay, you guys, in this. So the next live is going to be on friendships, okay? On, on, um, on how friends can be a big part of our lives and make our lives better. And um, all I can say, you guys, is enjoy your families. And those members that are toxic, we can just emotionally distance ourselves. We don't have to go into a big, a big um, fight about it or a big argument, have big arguments about it. Just emotionally distance yourselves. And those who give us love, who give us um, our values, and treat them, you know, have them in your lives, and live your lives, you guys. This is the only chance we've got here on earth, and. Remember, whatever relationship you've got that may be toxic, the narcissist, the um, antagonists, the, oh gosh, what was the other one? Antagonist, narcissist, toxic members, and, oh gosh, the other one, I can't remember. Whatever relationship you've got in your life, they're our teachers. They're there for us to evolve and learn the skills to deal with these people and so we can help others it's not by chance that these members are in our lives these people are in our lives it's a matter of our evolvement and becoming better versions of ourselves peace love and rainbows you guys and i can't wait to see you guys next week love you guys heaps and thank you richard john and george anyone else george Right. Thank you for watching. Love you guys. Peace, love and rainbows. Bye.